Cheers, pal. Cheers, buddy. And here's to quitting my day job and telling my boss to fuck off. You should have seen his fucking face, buddy. Wait, you quit your job? Yeah. When? Today. Well, after we got three million views on the last episode, I'm just like, fuck it, man. Fucking guy. <laughs> buddy, we fuck. got 3,000 views on the last video. We got 3,000 more after the 3 million? No. So we... 3 million, 3,000. That's pretty good, bro. I'm going to say, I, I, I'm going to say it. We got um, a total of 3.1 thousand or 3,100. We didn't get 3 million? No. What's the K stand for? Thousand. What about all, uh, about all those nice things people said? Like in the comments and stuff. There, there were only seven comments. I got to make a call. I think you should. Hold on. I'll be back in a second. All right. Take your time. What do you think of Mike Tyson fighting Jake Paul? I think it's stupid. Why? I don't know who wants to see this. I do. It's an exhibition fight. They're, they're going to have headgear on and shit. Well, as of today, as of this taping, they have not announced whether it will be strictly exhibition or a ranked fight. Well, regardless of, of what it is, I, I just think it's it's all about the money, which is nothing wrong with that. I mean, Jake Paul's 27. I don't I don't fault him for it. Um, but let's be honest. This is just just a train wreck that everybody wants to watch. And, and I'm for it in a way. But it's um, I'm not really curious to who will win. What? Why? Because I'm gay. I'm really curious to see how Jake Paul stands up against a 58 year old Mike Tyson. Well, let's think about this. 12 years, a guy will be 70 years old. Right. I'd rather see him fight when he's 70, a 12 year old boy. Right. In shorts, like really tight shorts. Sure. That to me would be the ultimate fight. I would definitely stay up for that one. I'd pay for it. In 10 years, Mike Tyson will be almost 70. This just seems, it seems like elder abuse a little bit, but maybe he'll beat Jake Paul. I don't really call it a victory, even if Jake Paul wins. I just don't understand. Even if for some reason Mike Tyson does not win this match, it's not a huge victory for Jake Paul. You're going to beat a Mike Tyson who's 20 plus years past his prime? Yeah. Absolutely everybody knows that if they were both 27 years old, this wouldn't even be a contest. Yeah. See, I wish there was more at stake. So, for instance, instead of the, just the money, I, I wish that the loser has to eat the other one's ass in front of all the people in the arena. Right there on the spot. Right there on the spot. That it, you, Then you're going to know that they're both going all out. You know right. I mean? To be able to eat the other one's ass. Unless and, one of them really likes to eat the other one's Yeah, ass. then they're both trying to aggressively lose. Right. I'm going to say something right now. I'd like to make an announcement myself. Sure. What I'd like to do is right now to formally challenge Gorlock the Destroyer to a fight. Are you referring to this Gorlock? I don't think there's more than one hey, Gorlock. Is that who you're referring to? Uh, that is Gorlock the Destroyer. The yes. one on the left. That's yes. who you want to get in the ring with? Yeah, the hot chick in the picture. Right. Exclusively because like the rules you just suggested for the Tyson fight, you want to win and eat Gorlock's ass or you want Gorlock to win and eat your ass? Uh, it doesn't matter which one. I, I remain a winner either way. That would be a fight I think people would want to see more than the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight. Right. I mean, I get a lot of a, a lot of flack for beating the shit out of a beautiful woman like that. Right. But still, you know, I'm willing to do it if she's willing to agree to the terms. So I just think that that would be a, a fight that everybody would tune in to see now that we got 3 million views on our last video. So obviously we're popular. I, I think Monster Energy would be a great sponsorship for it. You know I've been how I've been trying to get them to sponsor me, right? You're still working that angle, huh? I am. I've been working on a couple spots. Tell me what you think of this. Monster Energy. Mm. 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 <clears throat> for those of us labeled a monster by the press for having an underwear party in the woods with a bunch of Boy Scouts. Something like that. And you think that's going to... 
facilitate this sponsorship. I, dude, I don't see how it couldn't, to be honest. Look at this training montage between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. And, and this is current? Yep, this is the uh, last couple of days, let's say the last week or so. Okay. Tyson looking great. Right. Can I point out one other thing? Sure. That a lot of people aren't realizing. Jake Paul is much cuter right. than Tyson. So you got to put that in, in into the mix too. How is that going to help him win the fight? Distracting to Tyson how I cute see. he is. Yep. Doesn't want to hurt his pretty face. Yeah. You know, that's how I would be. Right. Now, can I tell you, uh, I mean, we're going to watch this fight, right? We're going to watch it. it. Here would be a better fight and that I think would get way more views. Tyson against all five gals of The View. What do you think of that idea? I would watch it. I would 100% watch that. He's going to have a tough time with uh, Joy Behar the most, but... Right. Because she's so slimy, his hits really wouldn't connect. They would just kind of slide off of her. Well, I could picture him, if she's wearing shorts, punching her, giving her a low blow, and his fist getting caught up inside of her. Right. Big, open, wide vagina. Hard to extract. Yeah. I'm going to have to... My only concern is... If this fight goes five, six, seven, eight rounds, mm -hmm. the stamina issue. I don't know what Mike's stamina level is at age 58. I'm just saying, compared to somebody 27 years old, mm -hmm. I think in that instance, that's how Jake Paul is going to approach this particular bout, right? Yeah. Almost exactly like Rocky Balboa versus Clubber Lang, right? Yeah. All right, so to wrap this segment up, mm -hmm. Mike Tyson, Jake Paul. Who is your money on? Got to be Tyson. I have to agree with you. After watching that little training video, I, Tyson's still, still a fucking animal, and he's a legend. He is. But here's what I think's going to happen. Can I make a prediction? Sure. They're going to try the same shit they did with Roy Jones Jr. They're going to say it was a tie. No one's going to be the clear winner. Right. There's not going to be any knockouts. That would be horrible to see Jake Paul knock out Tyson. How is that? A victory though even for jake paul they, let's say that happened which is not going to but a 27 year old knocks out a 58 year old just being able to say that you knocked out mike tyson yeah, there's only a couple always, people that but there'll say. always be an asterisk next that, to that i guess so well now that you don't have a day job i guess you can fully pursue that dream of being a full-time Brad Pitt impersonator. Actually, I had a really kind of a crazy experience this week with that. So I get a call from Brad Pitt's management team. There was a party he didn't want to go to because it was being held by Gwyneth Paltrow, his his ex. Sure. So he, he thought it would be very awkward. So what better than to hire me to go in his place? Right. Anyway, I ended up going. It was out in the Hollywood Hills. I show up. I think people were suspicious because I was driving a fucking Pontiac Solstice, which is not, you know, that great of a car. But anyway, so I go in. It's big mansion. It was being held at Paul Giamatti's house. So I walk in and go into the living room. There's all these fucking people standing around in a circle, right? They're all wearing fucking like goat masks and shit like that. It's like an eyes wide shut type deal. Got it. Right. So I didn't know that. There's like a little kid in the middle of the floor and they're all jerking off on his fucking head, which right away I thought was weird. So anyway, I get in line, right? And somebody's like, hey, Brad, what are you doing here, right? So I had to fucking play it cool like I do this all the time. I couldn't act shocked by the scene in front of me. Gwyneth Paltrow comes over and she's like, Brad, and she gives me a big hug, which was real awkward because she was towering over me and I, I sensed that she kind of might have almost... I might have blew my cover because, sure. you know, I'm five foot six and Brad Pitt's like six one. And she gets suspicious. And she's like, hey, you want one of my vagina candles up your ass? And I had to play it cool, bro. So I was like, of course, I always love that. Because I guess apparently that's what Brad Pitt likes. Sure, I think I've read that somewhere. So she comes over and she shoves the vagina candle up my ass, right? And I'm crawling around on all fours in the middle of the living room. She lights the freaking thing. And I guess the aroma of the of the scented candle of her vagina fucking puts all these famous people into a goddamn sexual frenzy, right? So they're all frothing at the mouth looking at my hiney as I'm crawling around on the fucking ground. Sure. I'm trying to get away from them all. They had squirted oil on me and they were kind of trying to all grab me. It was like a little game. You're not going to believe what happens. What happens? Paul Giamatti, the host of the party, comes out of a back bedroom. He instantly looks at me. He's suspicious, okay? 
he he knows I'm not Brad Pitt. How does he know? I don't know. Probably something to do with the size of my dick. He, Brad Pitt has a normal size dick. Mine's uh, an innie. So he comes over to me and goes, hey, what's up, Brad? And I got all nervous and couldn't talk. And then he just fucking grabs a mound of his belly hair and rips it off of his stomach and throws it directly into my face. Immediately, I can't see anything, right? Dude, this shit fucking stung. So I'm fucking running around the fucking living room. I start grabbing around for kids and shit like that. And I grab onto one of them. I fucking throw him into the fucking one of the bedrooms and kissed him for a little bit. Next thing you know, I'm in a fucking hot tub, right? And fucking James Woods is in the hot tub. He wants to play Periscope. I'm not into that, man, because like, I, for one thing, I couldn't put my mouth all around his periscope, wouldn't fit. He's got a really giant dick. I don't know if you've ever heard that. He fucking starts holding me underwater to see how long I can hold my breath. And I can't hold it for very long. So obviously I go into full panic mode. As I'm fumbling around this party, I end up falling out of a second story window mm. into a dumpster that's outside which all the trash in it breaks my fall. I hear this gravelly voice. Hey, what are you doing in here? Dude, it's fucking Nick Nolte. He's fucking, I guess he's in there getting the scraps from the party and shit like that. He's really not doing well lately. Him and I start to tussle, right? And I grab onto his old flimsy hair. I, I'm, I'm grabbing onto it side to side. And he says this, dude, uh, these words haunt me still today. I mean, it was only a couple days ago, so it's not that long. But he says to me, I'm gonna sodomize you till the cows come home. Dude, you have no idea how much I panicked, right? Because I have no idea when these cows are supposed to come home. For sure. one, it could be a year, for all I know. Anyway, I guess he was just talking about his wife because she showed up an hour later and he stopped. After he sodomizes me, I get a fucking Uber ride back home, right? I don't know why I took an Uber from California to Massachusetts. It was expensive. It was like nine grand. My phone's blowing up. You're not gonna believe who it is. Who is it? It's goddamn Brad Pitt. He's like, what the hell did you do? You ruined my reputation. And I'm like, whoa, Brad, take it easy, pal. Okay, you're not that good for one, <laughs> right? And uh, he goes, he goes, you're, you're gay. And I, uh, I really couldn't fight him at that point, gay. I think you're making this entire story up. Here was your fatal mistake. Early in the tale, you said the smell of Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina-scented candle sent everyone into a sexual frenzy. It did. That is impossible, because I can guarantee you that the smell of Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina has never sent anybody into anything even remotely resembling a sexual frenzy. How do you explain that? Very simple. Not Brad Pitt, you stupid fuck. Mr. Montgomery, Paul, Paul here. <laughs> you didn't take that serious, did you? I know I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. This is going nowhere, by the way. I'm not saying anything funny. <laughs> oh, did I tell you that my neighbors had me over last night to watch a special? No. Yeah, so... It went pretty good. I just wish they had told me that the kid was retarded before I agreed to babysit. I only had to restrain him once, so that was good. Did you know that tasers don't work on them? <laughs>